Most people try to slap text or graphics onto footage and it looks fake. The edges slide, the perspective's wrong. It just doesn't feel real. But in DaVinci Resolve, there's a hidden tool that actually lets you track complex surfaces perfectly. And stick around, because at the end, I'll show you my personal twist, a textured, cinematic look that takes your surface track from basic to badass. The main thing is, the surface in the footage should be free of glare, without reflections, and crazy dynamic lighting. Smooth, single color surfaces are also not ideal for tracking. Right click on your clip, select New Fusion Clip, go into Fusion. Hold down Shift and press Spacebar and type in Surface. Add the Surface Tracker. With the Surface Tracker selected, select the points of where you want to track. What I've noticed is if you select more points around the surface, it will get a better track. So for example, I'm just kind of going along the ridge like this. And this ultimately creates more points for the track to do better. If there's certain ridges and specific details that you want to make sure that the surface tracker picks up, it definitely helps to put a point on it. Once you've made your selection, on the right hand side, select Mesh. As you can see by default, it doesn't really select that many points. We want to make this text stick to the surface. So in order to do that, you can turn up your point number limit. 200 is the max. You can also adjust the minimum point spacing. As you can see, if I turn it up, it spreads out the points. If I turn it down, it gets a little bit more intricate. I'm going to keep mine at 5. Next, select the track menu. I leave everything here by default except I select better. You can select faster, which will obviously be faster, but better obviously gets a much better track. Then track forwards and backwards. This may take some time, so go make yourself a coffee. Okay, so now once you've tracked the surface, just go ahead and give yourself one good run through and make sure everything looks good. Depending on the shot, you might get mixed results. So it may take just a little bit of trial and error. Let's click anywhere down here in our node graph viewer and hold down shift and press spacebar and type in text. Scroll down to the text plus node and add it. Go ahead and connect the text plus to the surface tracker. You won't see anything yet because you haven't typed any text. So over here on the right hand side, click in the box and type in whatever you want. I think this works really cool for locations or even including a brand deal. So just some thought to get your creative juices flowing. And then I'm going to increase the size. Now you have to keep in mind, there's this box that we basically have created. And if you take the text and you try to push it outside of the box, you'll see that it kind of just disappears because it doesn't have any tracking information. So you gotta make sure it stays within that window. Now, this looks cool. The letters are kind of stuck onto it, but it kind of just lacks in a lot of ways. So here's, my secret sauce. Now you could come to the surface tracker and click on compositing and click on the drop down and select soft light, but you get something that looks like this. And that's cool if you wanna just add something to like your a plain t-shirt or if you wanna just kind of make it look subtle, but that's not the secret secret sauce. So let's change this back to normal. And what you wanna do is click anywhere here in the node viewer and add a merge node. Make sure the merge node is connected between the surface tracker and the media out. We're going to take the output of our media in, which is our drone shot, and we're going to put it into the merge node here. So we've essentially layered the drone shot on top of all the work that we did. But we want to make the text look texturized. We want it to give it some depth, and we want it to really fold and form in with where we've tracked. So again, click anywhere here in the node viewer, Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in Luma. Go ahead and add the Luma here. Click on the Luma here, hold down shift and drag it on top of the line until it changes color. Then let go with your mouse. That will drop the Luma here onto that connection point. Next, with the Luma here selected, come up here to the right hand side and select invert. Now we have these two adjustments, low and high. Go ahead and drag the high point down until the bright part looks pretty bright right here. But as you can see, the shadows kind of don't pull through and don't really break up the text. So in order to do that, you can come down here to the low setting and drag this up just a little bit. 
Now you can drag it up as far as you want. You can really give the whole text some crazy texture, but depending on your footage, you'll kind of have to play with these two parameters. And what's really cool is like, once you do all this, you can come back to your text and just put in whatever you want. And then you can resize it. You can also change the color of the text. You can do pretty much anything you'd ever want to do. And real quick, if you want to add a photo of some sort, or maybe like an animation or a logo, all you have to do is drag it into the node viewer here and connect it where the text plus node was. So here you can see you'd have to do some resizing. But the problem is, is when you select the media in one, you don't have any sizing adjustments over here. So with that new media in selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in transform. Add the transform node. Now you can scale and adjust this wherever you want. You might have to adjust the Lumic here just a little bit because if the image is different than the text, well, then you have to play around with these sliders once again. Well, now what if you want to add text and a logo? With the media in selected up here, you can hold down shift and press spacebar and type in merge. Add the merge node. Connect the text to the merge node. Adjust the transform where the logo is and then move the text using the text parameters. And now we've tracked the text and the DaVinci logo. Now, if you guys want to take this effect to the next level, check out this video right here. It's one of my most popular videos. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.